So, Diane, good to see you, and uh, thanks for your time. There are four candidates. Tell us about them, if you will. Uh, good evening, Suleiman, and good evening as well to the viewers. Now, the first candidate that we saw being interviewed today is uh, Justice Mbuiseli Matlanga. He is a constitutional court judge who's been serving at the court since 2013. Tomorrow, we're expecting to hear uh, the interview process for uh, Justice Mandi Samaya. She is the current Supreme Court of Appeal um, head. And following her, we will hear from um, Justice Raymond Zondo, the Acting Chief Justice, as well as Judge Dunstan Humlambo, who is the head of one of South Africa's biggest high court divisions, which is the high court division here in Gauteng. So quite an, uh, an eminent group of judges, Three judges who are currently in leadership positions, um, uh, who are the other three who are not interviewed today. Uh, but Justice Madlanga, someone who has extensive judicial experience, um, he previously served as the um, lead investigator in the Marikana Commission of Inquiry, one of the commissions of inquiry that was held here in South Africa. And he's been a, a, a member of the Constitutional Court for a number of years, so quite a senior uh, judge as well. And uh, this is, uh, is it unusual because the, the process of the, uh, of the interviews uh, are being conducted publicly? Well, the, the, pub, the public aspect of the interviews is not unusual, but I, I think what we would find is that there's definitely a lot more interest in these interviews uh, because it is the interview for the Chief Justice. Um, there's a lot of interest in what is going on. We've seen it streamed on um, uh, the 24 hour channels here in South Africa, as well as people watching it on various live streams that are provided by um, the Judicial Service Commission themselves. I think the other thing that makes this one stand out is that the previous interview uh, that was uh, conducted for uh, former Chief Justice Mohueng, he was the only candidate who was interviewed at that time. There were no other contenders. And this time around, we're seeing four different judges competing for that top position. So that's also what makes it stand out as quite a different process. Suleiman. Well, and another thing that makes this, uh, you know, stand out is that each candidate has gotten a whole day to be interviewed. So what kind of questions are they likely to face? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, with other interviews that we've seen for judicial positions, they'll usually go through a number of candidates in one day, um, anything from four to, to, to six candidates in one day. But in this instance, because it's the top position of Chief Justice, we're seeing that the candidates have each been given one full day. Um, and in fact, today's proceedings began at around 10 o'clock and only concluded after 7 p.m. So the, the commissioners are really using as much of their time that's available to them as possible. In terms of questions, there are obviously a lot of questions about the leadership ability of um, uh, the judges. There's also likely to be questions about um, issues of transformation on South Africa's judiciary. Um, in particular, uh, we saw questions today about whether the, the new chief justice should be another man because South Africa hasn't had a woman chief justice. Only one of the candidates um, this is Justice Meyer, who will be interviewed tomorrow, is a woman candidate, and she's probably also going to be asked about the gender composition of the judiciary, as well as, uh, you know, whether there should be a special or specific consideration given to any woman candidate, considering that she is the only woman candidate, candidate that consideration can actually only go to her. And uh, in today's interview, the leadership issue came up. And uh, how important is this? It's an extremely important uh, issue, Suleiman, um, because the Chief Justice leads the Office of the Chief Justice, which is a government department which is tasked with actually uh, running the administrative activities of the courts. This can be everything from uh, case flow management to ensuring that judges have adequate resources to do their jobs, for example. So it's a very important office because they're not only the head of the highest court, but they also may have to make sure that all the courts uh, below them are functioning optimally. This has become a very important um, aspect, particularly with the COVID-19 pandemic, where South African courts are trying to move into a better position as, it, as relating to technology, 
There's still a lot of paper being used in the South African court system, and the judiciary has been saying for some time that it wants to digitize the process and make sure that more people are getting access to justice through ensuring that technology is uh, well considered. Well, Diane Hawking, many thanks uh, for your time. Thank you.